Hello, my wildlings, and welcome back to Turnabout Hops. In the last episode, someone shot poor Gideon, and I'm not happy about it. And in this episode, we've... well, we also met Agent Sky in the last episode, and she hasn't told us much about herself. And hopefully, I'll find out more about her later. Or not, it might be that this is a, a, a red herring of sorts, like, oh, here's another agent, just like Jack Savage was, I bet she's the bad guy, but no, it's actually a switcheroo. Or maybe she is, I don't know. Maybe she will be. We'll find out. We will. <laughs> agent and Sky. That name's an odd coincidence. Uh, yeah, because... Cause... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I've completely forgotten the voice I did for her now as well. It's a new recording session and... Oh... I don't know. Let me go check back my old footage. Well, I just looked back on my footage and it looks like I didn't really give her much of a voice at all. My female voices aren't very good because I don't really happen to have one. <coughs> Actually, I do have one, and it's the one I use for every female character. Clawhauser, get over here. Hey, it's Clawhauser. I'm here, Miss Sky, and... Oh! Humans! I haven't seen any of your kind in ages! Humans? How curious. Hmm, my agency will be watching you. Outsiders with interest, I think. That doesn't sound good. Sir, <coughs> sir, uh, ma'am, uh, whatever do you mean? The last three humans who turned up caused quite the stir and then vanished. It is quite the puzzle, don't you think? Well, as long as it doesn't lead to a dissection. Oh, but no matter. There are more pressing concerns for the moment. Wouldn't you agree, Chief Bogo? <clears throat> Need to clear my throat for this one. One of my best officers has been arrested. And once again, one of your agents is involved, Miss Sky. And... Them. Yes, I suppose you could say this has become an important case. Them? Us, he means? Apparently we're attracting a lot of attention just by existing. Well, you are basically aliens in this world. Indeed, Bogo. But enough of that. Have the civilians escorted from the scene. Escorted? Miss Hops did mention you are our defence attorney, but you are not yet her defence attorney. So, big on thought. If we hurry, we might be able to catch up to Mr. Wild. He might be able to take us to this Zootopia, and we can investigate from there. Ugh, what have we gotten ourselves into? Whatever this case may be, we are, we are here now, whether we like it or not. I know. Alright then, let's hurry. I could have done a much better reading of that. <clears throat> An attempted murder. A new world. Is Judy innocent, as Nick Wilde claims? Who is that agent we encountered? Whatever the case may be, tomorrow this story truly begins. To be continued. Immediately. Nick and Judy's apartment, January 5th, 10am. I don't know if you've ever seen the Simpsons movie, and this is a minor spoiler for like one of the jokes. They did that in it, and it it was so funny to me. I just loved it. <laughs> to be continued immediately. <laughs> Still in this this apartment, huh? <sighs> I'm still here, then. <laughs> I half thought I... I half thought I'd wake up back home. But I guess not. Rather, I'm in a guest room with a home belonging to a bunny and a fox. Wow. I never thought I'd think that to my mind to myself. 
I'm still not used to this. Probably never will be. At least I can still sleep next to Gavin. He's very comfy to cuddle with. Ah, uh, good morning, Air Forehead. Is your mind more at ease now that you've had some sleep? Uh, sure. No, not at all. Now, when it comes to bluffing, my my see-through friend... Ah, I see. When it comes to bluffing, my see-through friend, you are no Phoenix right. That's a bit of a tongue twister on its own, especially when I'm doing an accent. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It is in your line of work, but forget about that business. I assume you were paying attention as to what happened yesterday. It's a little hard to forget. I remember that fox, Gideon Grey, was shot and taken to hospital. Now, very good. And the weapon was a police service pistol. One belonging to Miss Hops, that pleasant bunny we met on arrival. And seeing as she was caught at the scene, it's an open and shut as they come. Yeah, I can see that. And yet... She swore that she was innocent, and Nick Wilde also believed she is. I mean, I've only just met these people. Ah, but I should talk to her first. I mean, isn't she meant to be a friend of Mr. Wright as well? I'd like to talk to her in person. I'll head down right away. Oh, you didn't sound so enthusiastic yesterday. Yeah, well, my head's all over the place. But I am a defense attorney. I should at least hear her out. Well, that's the spirit. It's about time you broke from your bewildered stupor. Stupor? I mean, in all fairness, I would probably be in a bit of a stupor if I just found myself in another world with talking animals. Or would I? I've probably seen enough films and stuff with that in that, but maybe I would just go along with it. I don't know. I wouldn't know unless I'm in the situation. Could be pretty cool, actually. Or it could be horrible. Like Planet of the Apes style, like I've become a slave or whatever. Some monkey's pet. Ugh. No, don't like the sound of that. <clears throat> Not for me, thank you. Yeah, but this is where we part. As a prosecutor, I wish to look into things myself. Well, first, I will ascertain the status of Mr. Grey and work up from there. Oh boy, who's this? No need. That's, I thought it would be Nick. I mean, it's his house. It makes sense. Mr. Wilde. He's the one who let us stay for the night, of course. Yeah, Nick will be fine, Horns. Uh, sure thing, Nick. So, you were saying? I've been awake for a while. Truth be told, I don't didn't sleep at all last night. So I decided to check in at the hospital, see how old Gideon was doing. And, uh, he'll be fine. Docs say he's been in and out constantly. Well, has he said anything while he was awake? Nothing noteworthy. He never saw who shot him. Typical. So you're going to be taking a look into things after all, huh? Uh, maybe. You were quite persuasive yesterday. Eh, good to know. I'll be tagging along. Huh? I'm off the investigation, and when this happened with Spike, we just tagged along with him. Spike? Does he mean Mr. Wright? And just a head up, uh, just a heads up, I ain't asking. Well, I guess that settles that then. Uh, the beginnings of a beautiful friendship, I'm sure. Ooh, friends. Investigation friends. <laughs> That's like the one joke from that show I really remember. <laughs> Well, either way, I must be off. Investigating to do, crimes to solve. And we'll see if this performance deserves an encore, yeah? See, I did it. I did it with the Y sound instead of the J. I still prefer doing the J sound. It's more fun. <laughs> I'd rather not encore anything. Abshid. Uh, ab abshid. Until our day in the courtroom begins. Abshit, I don't know how to pronounce that word or what it means. Probably goodbye. Which I suppose makes this a good time to leave this episode. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, good night, and good luck. 
Sometimes those good lucks are really ominous. <laughs> what can I say? I'm an ominous man.